Okay, Ms. McInerney, hello and welcome to this European Parliament. It's been a long time. We'll have to wait for you about, well... <laughs> well, thank you. Years. Two and a half years since my election, so it's been a long wait. And my region, of course, has been underrepresented for that time. So I'm very pleased to be a member here at last. So what do you expect? What are your expectations today for the next two and a half years? Well, to, to represent my region, to stand up for the people of that region, um, particularly to help businesses. I'm very keen that we have a, a proper single market, not only in goods, but also in services. There's still some work to do on that air, area. So that's the sort of thing I hope to be working on. But it is quite a difficult time to, to get into this parliamentary work today. Uh, what were your feelings after the first plenary day? Well, I arrived right at the very beginning of the session on Monday and that was when all the new members were introduced and so country by country and I wasn't quite sure what to expect when we came to the United Kingdom but there is a generosity of spirit amongst all the members and so they gave me good applause as well so that made me feel at home. So we had a very important council in Brussels last week um, with a very specific feeling for for the UK. Uh, how do you start today with, with these specific feelings? Did you have the same approach as some MEPs saying, uh, I think we'll have to go through the visitors entrance or is this complete rubbish? I think that's a load of rubbish. Um, I arrived the same way as I did before. Um, but obviously I'm very pleased that the Prime Minister stood up for what he did. Um, it's very important for the UK. Our financial markets are hugely important and I fully back the Prime Minister's stance. Uh, you, now, you had two and a half years to, to watch it from outside uh, and as a step inside. For you, what is this institution exactly? I think it's an institution where the countries of Europe can come together to do the things that they can do best together. But I'm afraid at the moment there are things that I think are better done by the national parliaments. And so I would like to see some of those things repatriated to our individual national parliaments. But the things that we can do well together, and particularly the single market, those are the things that I hope to concentrate on. What's your impression today as a new MEP? Some people say it's, it's fresh air, fresh way of thinking coming in. On the other side, some other countries uh, have MEPs inside here which were not elected at all. Um, what was the case for the UK? Were you elected or have you been, are you just representing a national assembly like in France for example? No, I was elected. Um, we have a list system so that I was a member of, of my party's list in the West Midland region and as a result of the Lisbon Treaty, there were a number of additional members created across Europe. One of those came to the United Kingdom. And because the West Midland region was underrepresented, that additional seat came to the West Midlands. So I fought an election in 2009 in the same way that all the other members here fought an election. That's when I was elected. It's just taken a lot of time for the rather bureaucratic process of the protocol that had to be ratified by all the member states for that to happen. Do you have the impression today this was absolutely ridiculous to do it this way? Why not going in from the beginning? Why not arriving here from the beginning? It would have been much better to be here from the beginning, but the wheels turn very slowly. This is rather a, dem a bureaucratic place. I found certainly this week that there are many offices to visit and many forms to fill in. <laughs> you just have to sort of do that on your first day. So I've spent more time doing that than I have sitting listening to debates in the hemicycle. So I wish you all the best for the next two and a half years. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you.